hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial in this video we are going to discuss about binary division we have already uh, discussed about binary addition subtraction multiplication so this is the final discussion related to basic arithmetic operations associated with binary numbers so binary division okay binary division is actually a combination of binary multiplication and subtraction multiplication will be used to determine the quotient and subtraction will be used to determine the remainder and uh, the concepts is the same as that with normal division process okay the same the divisor the dividend the quotient remainder the same things so let us directly take an example to demonstrate how the binary division uh, operation it actually works so let us uh, perform the division 6 divided by 3 so here we have done it in decimal form so the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 0 let us do it in binary form okay 6 is 1 1 0 okay this is 6 1 1 this is for 3 now here this is of 2 bits okay the 3 1 1 and here there are 3 bits so we are going to first compare this with the first 2 bits of this number okay so here exactly the first two bits are 1 and 1. So what we are going to do in the quotient, we are going to first put 1, 1, 1 into 1. So it is 1. Subtract becomes 0 and 0. Now, do not end the operation here. Okay. Now we have to again put a 0 here and subtract it with 0 to get the final result as 0 this is the remainder what where most people make a mistake is that they terminate this whole operation here because this there is a 0 bit here which has to be processed which has to be which has to go through this whole division operation so don't end it here when you get the 0 you have to perform it until the end so here we have to put 0 so the final remainder is 0 0 0 so this is the remainder which is the same as this <clears throat> this is 3 in decimal and this is 2 in decimal and this is 6 so we got the same values of quotient and remainder when we perform this operation in binary okay so let us discuss uh, another example okay and see how this thing works let us perform another division operation uh, associated with binary numbers this time it is 15 divided by 3 so the quotient here is 5 and remainder is 0 okay in decimal numbers so here this is the 15 1 1 1 1 okay it's a 4 bit number and here it is 3 1 1 so here we'll compare this with the first two bits they're exactly the same here in this case so we'll 1 it's 1 1 okay be 0 0 now we cannot divide 11 with 1 it is less so we have to add a 0 here and bring a 1 down again will be 1 minus 1 it will be 0 0 so here we got the same result okay this is the quotient which is the decimal form is 5 here the remainder is 0 in decimal form okay we got the same result now let us take another example 
So, here is another example okay, that we are going to take for uh, binary division where we are going to perform the division 32 divided by 3. So, here in this case when we multiply 3 with 10 we get the result as 30 and when we subtract 30 from 32 the remainder is 2. So, here the quotient is 10 and the remainder is 2. We are going to do the same in binary form. So, this 1 with 5 zeros is 32 and this 1 1 is 3. So, let us see how we can do that. Here if we compare the first two bit of this with this it is 1 0. So, we cannot do that operation. So, what we are going to do is that we are going to put 1 here ok means 1 1 into 1 we are going to subtract it from this ok. So, the result will be here 0 minus 1 cannot be done directly. So, we have to borrow it. So, please check out the video related to binary subtraction because here I am going to do it directly. So, please check out the video which I have posted related to binary subtraction in my channel. So, understand to understand this concept in a better way. Okay. So, what is going to happen is that become 0, this will be 1, this will become 1, this will become 1 0 which is 2. So, it is 1 and 0 and this is 0 already. So, the 0 will come down, but here 1 0 is less than 1 1. So, we will add another 0 bring down another. Okay. Now, we will put another 1 be 1 1 we will subtract it. So, the same result okay. this will become 0 become 2 become 1, we will give 1 here. Okay. So, it is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 1 is 0 and this is 0. Okay. Now, again a 0 bit will come, but 10 is lesser than 11. So, what we are going to do is that we have to complete this whole operation. So, it will be 0, 0, be 1, 0. Okay. So, finally, we got the result. This is the remainder okay, in binary form which is actually 2 in decimal form. This is the quotient 1010 0, 1, 0 in binary form. In decimal form, it is 10. 1010 okay? 1, 0, 1, 0 in decimal form is 10. So, we got the same quotient and remainder value when we perform the operation in binary form. Now, coming to this binary subtraction part here I did not explain in detail how I did this. So, please check out the binary subtraction video which I have posted there I have explained in detail how we can perform this 0 minus 1 subtraction okay? uh, and other, other rules as well. So, I have discussed in detail in that video. So, therefore, I did not repeat here. So, I directly performed the subtraction. So, if you did not understand, then please check out that video related to binary subtraction in my channel. So, we finally got the remainder as 1 0 which is 2 in decimal form and the quotient as 1 0 1 0 which is 10 in decimal form. Okay. So, here also in decimal form we got the same result. Okay. So, we are going to take another example okay, on binary division okay, where we are going to divide 83 with 9. So, in decimal form when we multiply 9 with 9 we will get the result as 81 the closest to 83 and the remainder of this 83 minus 81 it will be 2. So, we will get the quotient as 9 and the remainder as 2. So, let us see if we do it the same in binary form, what will be the result. Okay. So, here this is 83 1 0 1 0 0 1 1, this is 83 in binary form and this is 9 in binary form 1 double 0 1. So, here we will compare this 4 bits with the first 4 bits of this number. 
so obviously it is greater so you can perform the division so we will put 1 it will be 1 0 0 1 again 0 minus 1 so we will borrow it this 1 1 minus 0 is 1 this is 0 so 0 1 minus 1 is 0 okay now <coughs> the 0 bit it comes down obviously 1 0 is lesser than 1 0 0 1 so we will put the 0 and we will bring another 1 again this 1 0 1 is lesser than 1 0 0 1 so we will put another and bring down another 1 now this 1 0 1 1 is greater than 1 0 0 1 so we can perform the division so we will put 1 here and subtract 1 double 0 1 so it is 0 this is 1 this is 0 and this is 0 ok so finally we got the result this is the quotient 1 0 0 1 which is actually 9 in decimal form and here the remainder is 0 0 1 0 which is actually 2 in decimal form so we got the same result in, this, uh, in binary form as well when we perform division using binary numbers we got the same result quotient as 9 that is 1001 and remainder as 2 that is 0010 so here we have discussed some examples on binary division again for this binary subtraction part if you didn't understand please check out the video related to binary subtraction in my channel that I have discussed in detail how the binary subtraction of bits is done along with the basic rules associated with binary subtraction so please check out that video if you didn't understand this so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much